Hello, this is Dennis from uh, Smoke Daddy and Pellet Pro Grill. Uh, I want to show you, I had a lot of questions about our uh, refrigerator smoker online, and I just kind of want to give you a brief uh, rundown on how we, how we did that using our uh, Pellet Pro uh, hopper assembly. Now, using an old refrigerator is your best bet. I mean, you, you need something that has a porcelain line, lining, and uh, you can see here, this one worked out really well. Uh, we, we took out all the plastic parts. Uh, one of the things for, for making the, uh, the racks, uh, you, you can get yourself some channel like this. I think it's just regular shelving channel. Uh, you can put it on the inside and that'll, you, you'll be able to uh, slide your uh, grates in and out. Uh, that works really well. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is some uh, gasket material. Uh, this is uh, Fire Black 220 pan material. Uh, we've got that. If you go look at barbecuegasket.com, uh, any one of those, uh, you'll be able to uh, find that out. Uh, this one, we put three racks in here, the top two we were cooking on. This bottom one we use for our water pan. Uh, it helps catch all the grease and that. Uh, Let's go over to uh, the other one here. This is another one that we're making. We're right in the process of it. Uh, this one we're going to uh, put the, the hopper assembly in from the, the right side. Uh, our hopper assemblies come universal. You can put the controller on either side, which makes it nice. Uh, we determined where we wanted to put this to hole, and we can come along with a gasket. Um, for that and I'll show you in a second how, how we uh, determine where to put that. Uh, what we do here is the RTD probe, I put that in the middle somewhere uh, in between uh, your racks. Now let's go over here. Now when you get your fridge, you know always make sure that it's porcelain lined and you know it's going to come along with uh, all the Freon and all that, you know let's just make sure you get somebody that you can trust to get rid of that. Uh, we don't want to pollute uh, too much. <laughs> but what we did, we took off all the plastic. There's a plastic uh, edging here. We pulled that out. Uh, on the door, there was a plastic door. Yeah. And what we did, we just we, we covered it with uh, some stainless steel. I mean, you could use uh, some regular 13 gauge, as long as it's not uh, galvanized. Now, once you pull this plastic out of here, you can use some flashing, aluminum flashing for uh, housing. Uh, this, it's, it's an angle one I could show you back over here, but you, you get the idea. And if, what you want to do, a lot of them are filled with uh, uh, fiberglass. You know, just make sure that it's not something that's flammable. Uh, and I took a piece of this and held a torch to it, and it, it doesn't burn. So that's good enough. You're not going to get this thing up to 900 degrees. You know, you're going to be doing a low and slow cooking. So uh, the way we determined uh, where to put the, the hopper assembly is uh, we decide it, it should be it's got to be up off the off the bottom a little bit because you want to put a pan under there to catch any grease. So we determine the height. Uh, you can go from the bottom of this or the ground, whatever you know. You got to get a dimension, and we like to go up a, about an inch off of the bottom there. So. I determined where that was. Uh, I put a mark. I determined where the bottom was. And then we, we put a mark here. Then I put another mark over here and ran a piece of tape. Now I know that's, that's where the bottom of my, my fridge is So uh, for our template. Now this is the template that comes along with it. Uh, what I did, I marked the center here. Of where everything's at, and I just line that up and just determine where the bottom of the, the tape is as close as you can. You can pretty much feel it, and then just make sure it's even along here. And uh, there you go. Then mark it however you uh, feel comfortable doing, and then cut it out. You'll have to probably get a longer drill to go through there. Now, the other thing is uh, the venting. It's real important to get some good venting in these because they hold the, the heat so well that uh, 
you just got to get that airflow in there. And uh, one of the things I like to put in there is that in the bottom, you can come over here, is a vent like this. You can get this size bigger or whatever. And I'll show you on the other one uh, how we did that. But get it down here, mark it off, uh, and cut it through and then put it on the other side. Um, what I, mark it, mark, yeah, mark off that. And then what I did, we took a, a hole saw and uh, made four or five holes to let the, the air in. So it, I'll, I'll show you on the other one in, in just a second. Uh, and then for your chimneys, you got a three inch uh, hole saw. You know, you could put one or two, but you know, you just gotta get some good airflow going through there. Uh, again, it holds the heat so well that, you know, it always has to have a fire in there, and if it holds the heat too much, you, it might get a, a rise in the temperature. But I'll, I'll come back over here, I'll show you. On the back of this one, this is how we put that on there. Now this fan, if it's a real hot day, I like to run that fan to even get a little more air to go through through the system. And uh, that's working real well. But that I only use if I'm running it, trying to keep it down a, around 200 degrees, 180, 160. Uh, it struggles a little. It's, it wants to stay a little high because, like I say, it has to have a, a fire going in there all the time. So I'll plug that in and it'll, it'll, it'll solve that problem. So anyways, I mean, that, that's a quick rundown on what we did. Uh, you know, if you have any, any questions, you know, uh, give me a call, 847-336-1329, uh, and I'll be glad to, to help you out as, as best I can. And uh, yeah, these hopper assemblies are working real good. It's got the PID controller, which is holding the temperature within five degrees. And uh, yeah, that's our, our refrigerator build. So thanks for looking. Go start cooking.